Hello everyone, Dalton the Dev. This is my pager slash toneout system. Uh, it's customizable, like you can have custom tones for each station. You can also have multiple monitors for each station, and you can assign a monitor for each truck. So you can actually put these in the apparatuses themselves. You can have multiple of them in the apparatus, you can have multiple monitors in the station, it's completely up to you. As you can see right now, I'm on the civilian team. I cannot currently open the UI for the player, so let's go ahead and change to a station team. There we go. And I'm going to select what station I am, plus what truck I am, which is the same ladder one. Oh no, I didn't mean to click ladder one. Go over here, can actually select engine or car. Sure, I'll be car four. Why not? Uh, there's no calls right now, so can't view them. There's a map. You can't scroll or you can't like move around on the map yet because Roblox is still working on their dragger UI thing. But once that's finished, once they publish it to Roblox, it'll start working. So don't worry too much about that right now. But you do have the ability to add in your own map. I know it's like kind of weird right now, but you can zoom in and out. But whenever they add in their dragger UI thing fully, because right now it's only available in studio. I didn't know that until after I finished the product. I thought they had already made it available on Roblox Player, but it should be available on the player soon enough. So there's that view. Clicking view map again will reset it just in case it accidentally goes off screen. You can just for the time being just kind of edit the UI, move it on there. You can find the UI in the uh, studio. So we'll go back to viewing the calls. Now you can. This is what the dispatcher panel looks like. You're just gonna put three 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 test. Av as the call location. We're gonna do structure structure fire. Probably misspelled that. Sorry. Fire ups one is the voice channel to use. I'm gonna say caller states their house is on fire. And then here, I can select units. So I'm go I'm just gonna select units that are on station one and two. I kind of have this memorized. So. I'm just going to only select units from those stations. I think, I think, I think that's all the units from only those stations. And if I press page call, you'll hear station one's tone get played, followed by station two tone. All the trucks that are assigned to the call will appear on those cat on their uh, CAD monitors, while the ones who aren't won't get it. So I'm going to press page call. You'll also hear like a like a notification sound on the players end too, just to say, hey player, you have a call that's been assigned to you. And you can view it by just simply opening up. So here we go, page call. So as you can see, only station one and two got paged because none of the station three units were assigned to it. But any units that were assigned to it, which if I zoom in on this, Engine 5, Ladder 1, Rescue 1, Rescue 2, Squad 2, you know, those units were assigned to that call. But if I do, let's just do just Station 3 units. Um, Just gonna do caller fell down the stairs. We're just gonna do station three units. I know this is like a lot for someone who fell down the stairs, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Page this out. As you see, station three's tone got played and it shows up on their monitor. I guess I didn't type in his street name. I guess I just typed in 444. But you can see that. Did I miss something? Oh, I misspelled. Okay, see, I did something wrong here. I accidentally misspelled squad. So because I misspelled squad, it didn't get it. You got to be careful about that. If you misspell something, it's not going to get the call. So that's why that's empty. My fault. Capitalization and stuff like that matters. So just take that to heart, guys. This system, you can customize the tones. You can customize the pager sounds. You can. There's actually sound that gets played with these tablets, although I just have it as nothing right now because... You can do that, but I showed in the tutorial how you can customize it. You can also customize how many stations you have, what units you have for the station, uh, what fire teams you have, because the, this UI is locked to only be available for the fire teams. That's what I was showing at the beginning. You can also customize who has access to this dispatch panel right here. Um, 
Actually, if I go back over here, I can press view calls and I can view different calls. I'm car four. Car four is on this right here. It'll always list out in alphabetical order. So don't worry too much about this isn't first two. This is just alphabetical. Um, to remove calls, you just go here, click a call you want to remove, and bam, it's gone. It's no longer there. Uh, trying to think of what else is customizable. You can customize the notification sound that the player gets on their end. Um, anything else? I want to say that's it. Probably is. Well, sorry for the uh, pecker noise, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Straightforward. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to open a ticket on our server, and have a nice day.